What's up? It's Carcino here. And I've been getting a lot of people like, man, you ain't talking about it. You ain't talking about the people that blocked Floyd Mayweather's car and, and all of this stuff over there. Well, we know how drunk idiots are. I don't like to really glorify stuff like that. I mean, they, those guys were insane. <coughs> but you don't let the actions of a few, you know, dictate and be the whole story of everybody in the UK. Because he has a lot of people that love him out there in the UK as well. They love it when he comes out there. This was a whole different type of crowd. You know, a lot of Connor fans, drunk people that's been there for hours. And it's always those guys' acts who get the majority of the attention. So I didn't think it was newsworthy. So I didn't speak on it. But I do want to speak on this. I was thinking about going live, and I just said at the last minute, no, nah, I'm not going to do it live. I'll just do it in video format. <laughs> and, and the reason why is I just wanted to be clear and get it through. Because I checked to make sure that, was this real or was it was it live or was it Memorex? And this is Memorex. <laughs> All of this is a lie. From what I've been told, from the people that's involved, they're like, no, none of this is. And what this is is uh, promoters, managers who want to hurt the program or hurt the the actual fight itself they come up with these ridiculous rumors pass them on through the press and then it leaked that it came from jesse vargas vargas said he was knocked out how how easy is it to call jesse vargas i talked to jesse vargas jesse vargas said brandon rios did it Rio said, I never even met the man. So where do you go with that? Why is everybody still pushing the narrative that he was knocked out? Because these are people who are paid by certain people who have an agenda to try to make fake reality and still push it. That's why you'll see it on ESPN, even though they know it's a lie. These are the major networks, right? But now they're doing what bloggers do. Knowing something isn't true and not researching to find out if it's true or false and putting it out to the world, right? Isn't that what you guys do? Like we're, we're, we're professional media, we're not bloggers. You're, you're just a blogger, you're not professional media. You know, they love to wear the hi hat when it's in a position that it suits them to try to talk down on bone you. But yet the bloggers are the ones that keep the business going because mainstream media don't want to cover the sport unless it's a big event like this. Other than that, they're not going to care about the smaller fights, which the bloggers keep online, which the bloggers keep in the chat rooms. The bloggers, they're the ones doing all the talking. So if you cared enough to cover it, then it wouldn't be all these bloggers. Now, Conor McGregor being knocked out in sparring is so rare that that would happen because he wouldn't have even gotten to that point. If he was hit with a good enough shot to staggle him, they would have stopped sparring right there, period. And that sparring partner would have probably been fired, especially for something like this. Now, of course, they had to do an interview with Floyd, who basically said he checked himself too and talked, and it was turned down on him. I talked to Jesse myself. And he just like, look, I don't want to be on an interview talking about this. And I understood why and, you know, his whole reasons. So I said, okay, cool. I get it. I know what's going on. So I, I just came and did it myself. 
But as far as why they do it, because you look at whose program is going to be hurt by this HBO. They got a fight on the same day. Right? Who, who's in fear of this hurting their pay-per-view sales? Golden Boy Promotions, HBO, cutting into their money. So they, they're, whoever stands and fears to lose the most, those are the ones that seem to have an issue with the situation. Everybody else seems to be okay with it. And they act like one can't affect the other. The prices are so high for the Conor McGregor fight that people are going to say, well, I'll watch it on pay-per-view and I'll go to this fight. They, they've already sold out the tickets for Canelo and Triple G, from what I've heard. People will go see what they want to see. They don't need you to dictate it. So... You don't need old old man Hopkins out there trying to sell uh, and push an agenda. Well, you know, that's not even a real fight because cause Connor, you know, McGregor, he, um, you know, he, um, this ain't really his sport. And it's a travesty. And Floyd's going to destroy him within five rounds. This is not a fight. Because... He feel he got to go out there and speak for it because he gets a check. But what happens when you go up to Oscar and say, Oscar, I want parity or at least 45 percent. I need I need a bigger share in the company. I know I have a minority share of zero, zero, zero point eight percent into Golden Boy promotion, but I think I would at least have to have two points, maybe three points in the company. At least something that resembles I'm a part of this. Since I'm the one put my neck out on the line all the time, doing promotions, and yeah, I get a check, but I'm not getting a real check. But we all know that, don't we? And what he tells you to do, bring the horses in, then you get paid more money. Hmm? Ain't that what he's saying? Bring me the horses. Bring me the fighters, Bernard, and I pay you. You are you you are a part of Golden Boy. You had the same percentage as Shane Mosley when you got there. Did they up your percentage? Nope. But yeah. You warn for him. And I get it. Gotta do what you gotta do, right? To keep the lights on. Not mad at you at all. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the uh, notification button. A lot of people have been having problems not getting notifications. Uh, I've notified YouTube so they can check it all out and fix all the bugs and whatever. I'm out.